first French troops en route to Ukraine, member of the Ukrainian parliament. The first group of French military instructors are coming to Ukraine, high-profile Ukrainian politician Alexei Goncharenko said. His statement comes just days after Ukraine's top commander, Alexander Sirsky, announced that he had authorized the presence of the French personnel in the country. My sources informed me that the first group of French instructors is already on its way to Ukraine. Goncharenko, a member of the Ukrainian parliament and a delegate to the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, wrote on X. In February, French President Emmanuel Macron said that he could not rule out the possibility of NATO member states sending troops to Ukraine in the future, although French officials soon clarified that he meant non-combat personnel. Macron later argued that NATO should adopt a policy of strategic ambiguity towards Russia. The French leader has been working behind the scenes to forge a coalition of countries willing to dispatch trainers to Kiev, Bloomberg reported. Sirsky, who was made Ukraine's top general in February, said that he had signed the papers allowing instructors from France to visit Kiev's training facilities and familiarize themselves with their infrastructure and personnel, and had notified French Defense Minister Sébastien Lecornu. French newspaper Le Monde, citing sources familiar with the matter, said that France could send instructors to Ukraine to train its military in a matter of days. According to Le Monde's sources, Ukraine was forced to tone down its comments on the possible deployment of French instructors to the war-torn country. Discussions on the matter should accelerate in the coming days, they said, and an announcement could be made during Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's visit to France. France would initially send a few dozen personnel in order to identify training needs before deploying several hundred more. The sources said Reuters also reported that France could soon send military trainers to Ukraine, citing three diplomatic sources who said the training would focus on demining, ensuring that equipment stays operational and technical expertise for warplanes to be provided by Ukraine's Western allies. The arrangements are very advanced and we could expect something next week, one source said. Ukraine has numerous Western weapons that can carry out effective strikes on Russia. Russian military experts decided to analyze what Western weapons the armed forces of Ukraine already have to strike the Russian Federation, how far these weapons can hit, and what can counter the next expansion of attacks by the Kyiv regime of the Russian armed forces. Thus, French hammer-guided bombs and AGM-88B anti-radar missiles are capable of hitting targets at a distance of up to 60 and 80 kilometers. Accordingly, border settlements of the Russian Federation may be under attack, including Rilsk and Sudza in the Kursk region, Novoy Oskol in the Belgorod region and the long-suffering Belgorod itself. When deployed at firing positions 30 kilometers from the Russian border of the American M142 HIMARS and M270 MLRS, Ukrainian nationalists will be able to use 227 mm two-stage GLSDB rockets as well as ATA CMS, Block 1 operational tactical missiles to a depth of 135 kilometers. This will allow the Ukrainian armed forces to shell Bryansk, Kursk, Stary, Oskol, and Rososh, Taganrog, and other cities in this radius of destruction. Longer range ATA CMS block IA and QRU ground based missiles with a cluster warhead reach targets at a distance of up to 300 kilometers. This means that settlements and administrative centers of the Oriol, Voronezh, and Lipetsk regions may come under attack. Also within the range of these missiles are Rostov on Don, Taganrog, Kamensk, Shaktinsky, Shakti, and other cities and villages. The Franco British stealth air launched cruise missiles, Scalp EG, Stroke Storm Shadow, have a similar range of 300 kilometers. Let us remember that Paris and London have already allowed Kyiv to use their weapons to strike deep into Russia. Although Portugal is not yet on the list of permits, the Tekeva AR-3 kamikaze drone, developed and produced in this country, is already being supplied to Ukraine by other countries. Its flight range reaches 1,000 kilometers. Moscow and St. Petersburg fall within its coverage area. True, this is the vulnerability of this UAV. Russian crews of air defense systems such as the Pantsir S-1 and Tor M-2 Air defense systems have time to detect and intercept drones. It is more difficult to shoot down high-speed British drones 
Kamikaze, Banshee, Jet 80 Plus, the speed of which can reach up to 650 km an hour and the range of up to 400 km. Of course, most modern domestic air defense systems are capable of countering GLSDB projectiles. While to repel massive ATA CMS attacks, it is necessary to deploy several S400, S300 V4, or Buck M3 batteries under the expected trajectories of their flight, as well as 10 to 30 kilometers from the overlapped objects. At the same time, it is impossible to create 100% protection against new threats except by eliminating its source.